Welcome to Healthy Indian Bites, the flavors you crave lightened up. Today, we're making a delicious chicken tikka masala that's lightened up to fit your lifestyle. I'm starting out with one pound of cubed chicken breast and I'm adding two tablespoons of thick Greek yogurt to it. Next, I'm adding one tablespoon of whole milk followed by one tablespoon of oil and one tablespoon of lemon juice, a teaspoon each of ginger paste and garlic paste, or you can use fresh minced ginger or garlic if you want. Next, I'm adding one tablespoon of tandoori masala powder, followed by one fourth teaspoon of red chili powder, half a teaspoon of garam masala powder, half a teaspoon of cumin or zita powder, half a teaspoon of dried methi, and one teaspoon of paprika. And we definitely don't want to forget the salt, so I'm adding one teaspoon. Now I'm going to mix up my chicken with the marinade really, really well, and I'm going to let it marinate for at least 30 minutes, but you can let it sit overnight, and that will be even more delicious. When I'm ready to cook, I'm going to start by layering my chicken on a baking sheet that I've oiled, and I'm going to get all the chicken and all of the marinade in there. It's a very important, you take a spatula and clean out that bowl and scrape all of the marinade and yogurt and masala and put it onto the pan with your chicken. I'm going to bake it at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes. While that's cooking, I'm going to start on my sauce. I'm going to start by adding one tablespoon of oil and one tablespoon of butter on medium heat. When that starts to melt, I'm going to add half a teaspoon each of ginger and garlic paste. I'm going to stir it around for about 30 seconds until it starts to get fragrant. I'm also adding in one green chili pepper. You can use whatever kind you have on hand. Now I'm putting in one 8 ounce can of tomato sauce. I like my tikka masala sauce smooth and creamy, but if you like it to have a more chunky texture, you can use crushed tomatoes or even fresh chopped tomatoes. I take my chicken out after about 20 minutes and I'm going to add it to the sauce. One very important thing to note here is when you're adding your chicken to the sauce, you want to make sure you scoop in all of the juices, all of that spice mix, all of that masala into the pan. I recommend using a spatula to make sure you can scrape everything out that you can. Once I have all my chicken and masala in there, I'm going to stir it for about one minute to get everything mixed together. Once that's completely mixed, I'm going to let it come to a simmer, then I'm going to reduce my heat to low, I'm going to cover it, and let it continue to simmer covered for about 3 to 4 minutes. Now I'm going to add in about a half a cup to one cup of milk. You want to start with half a cup and then add it until it reaches your desired consistency and level of creaminess. Make sure you mix that in really well and keep your heat on low. You can check your salt and spices at this time and also add in more milk if you want it more creamy or more saucy. Feel free to garnish this with cilantro if that's what you like. It really brightens up the flavor. If not, you can leave it out. This tastes so good on top of some simple white basmati rice. If you like this recipe, don't forget to give me a like, don't forget to subscribe, and tell all your friends so they know how to make a healthy chicken tikka masala too.